Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to create variables without assigning initial values, also known as allocating story space for uninitialized data. Okay, so to do this, before we go into that, I just want to cover some keywords. With regular variables, you use stuff like db, dw to define how much space you are, you know, allocating. With uninitialized data, you use res b, res w, res d, res q, and rest. Again, same thing, we are reserving a byte with this one, reserving a word, double word, quad word, and 10 bytes, and this is the amount of bytes that it takes. Now to create a variable, you have to create another section called section.bss. Inside of here, you create your variable name. So while one, for example, colon, you specify how much you want to reserve. So I'm going to say reserve one byte. So RESB, so I'm going to say reserve four of them. So it's going to reserve four of these. So it's going to be four bytes. So that's a total of 32 bit. And now to actually use this, we just, you know, put it here. So we can just put var1, for example. We get nothing because we haven't assigned anything. So to assign a value, first of all, we need to assign a value or move some data into a register. The EBP register isn't being used. It is a generic 32 bit register, which we're not using at the moment. So I'll use that one. I'm going to say hi. We're going to move the contents of EBP into the var1 variable. So to do that, you do var, you do move, sorry, in square brackets for var1 EBP. And if you run it, we get hi. So that is how you create a variable without assigning an initial value. And you know, this is perfectly plausible. Maybe you're creating an application that takes input from the user, but you don't know what they're gonna put in because you know it's input from the user. Therefore, you create a variable that has no data initially, depending on what they input, will determine what it actually stores. So that's really it for variables that aren't initialized from the get-go. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.